Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Borderlands 3 video. You are forgotten. Nice, today we have another legendary weapon guy for you. A little bit of a review and a little bit of a preview. And of course we're gonna see how good this weapon performs. Today we're looking at the complex route. Now the complex route is by far the best sniper rifle in Borderlands 3. Yeah, it is that good. Now this one comes with the red text. Your brain is a creative computer. Now the reason why I'm saying it like that is because this is actually a reference to Dexter's Laboratory, one of my favorite childhood cartoons watching growing up. Now, this weapon comes with 12,175 on the damage for this version. We have some very good, actually 96%. We have 86% handle, 3.8 on the reload speed. We have a lot of fire rate, 8.69, 10 in the magazine. Now, this one is zoomed in and we have 35% charge speed, so that's really good. This is Molly one weapon. We're gonna need to charge this up. Now, where can you farm this? Well, at the Ashfall Peaks, there is a crew challenge. Now this crew challenge will have you facing off against one invisible sniper. You're gonna need a sharp eye and a quicker wit to hunt down Lanny Dixon. He's Rose's top assassin and word is he knows how to disappear. Yeah, this is true. That's that red beam that you're seeing. That's Lanny over there trying to take us out. This is the crew challenge. This is the person that you're going to farm to get the complex crew. Although this weapon can drop as a world drop as well. But if you want to farm that god roll, this is the place. Now once again, if you don't have RNGs with you, like I didn't know in this first run, just go ahead and quit out and reform this mission. That's how you're gonna form in Borderlands 3. If you're new to this series, squid out to the main menu and come right back. There's a checkpoint right here where it makes this form really, really easy. So for now, we're just gonna keep ourselves to the right of the map. We're gonna jump over here and take her out. And hopefully with a little bit of RNGs, you can get the complex route to drop. Now, like I said, this is the best sniper rifle in Borderlands 3. And it is capable of doing millions of damage. So, the first place we're going to take this to is the Ruiner. One of the hardest enemies right now in Borderlands 3. And it's a great place to test out weapons too. To see how good this weapon performs. As always, Mayhem Mode 10. Always. Now, if you didn't know, the crit spot on the Ruiner is those glowing horns. shooting not the back of its back. So, just go ahead and focus on that. As you can see millions of damage like a few days ago i put out a video on the best weapon i've ever seen and that pistol is amazing just it's very ambidextrous anybody can pick it up and use it it's the same thing with this sniper rifle except this sniper rifle just does a whole lot more damage and it's very efficient on the ammo too which makes this sniper rifle a must-have and a must-keep in your top four weapons at all times yeah it's that good. So we're going to take it to the Grave Ward, see how much of a, a boss killer this weapon is. Now, we're going to fire off the first clip when we first jump down in here. And as you can see, it's almost halfway with just one clip. And that's not even hitting all the crit shots. We're going to flip to our fadeaway. And yeah, within two clips, Grave Ward is down. Now, what makes this weapon amazing is that any Vault Hunter can pick up and use this weapon. You don't even have to be a good shot with a sniper rifle because what makes this weapon special is when you fire off these shots from this weapon it's going to kind of do like a crisscross a little zigzag of those weapons and it's going to spin around and shoot in a zigzag form and those projectiles will burst and blow up as you saw so we're going to take this to one of my favorite places to test our weapons trials of the instincts always mayhem mode 10 we're going to see how well this weapon performed right here against some jabbers now when we look down the sights you can see we can flip to incendiary and we have cairo this weapon can roll in any of the different elements so get out there and farm get you the right element and the right anointment and you're good to go. Matter of fact, you're good to go even without it. Now, like I said, this weapon is a molly one weapon. It charges up, but it also fires in full auto, too. So, you just basically need to just hold down the trigger and let the fireworks begin. Here we go. Feel the blood lost. Feel the blood lost. Here we go. Mayhem old 10, complex root, and the jabbers are down. Just like that millions of damage like i said this weapon is the best sniper rifle in borderlands 3 i don't think i'm gonna have anybody uh 
saying that another one is. Now we had a lot of great sniper rifles in the Borderlands 3 history. We had the a vicious Alayuda got nerfed. We had the wedding invitation got nerfed. Okay, we have the Krakatoa. Eh, still haven't got nerfed yet, but still. When you want a sniper rifle and it's OP, you want it to stay OP. So hopefully this one won't get nerfed. Paul is going to get nerfed. Hopefully it won't get nerfed because this weapon is amazing and we need amazing weapons in Borderlands 3. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I showed you where you can farm this weapon and I showed you how good it performs in the end game. So hopefully with a little bit of RNG, you can get this weapon for you to drop. Now, as always, once again, if you haven't had RNGs with you and you're a subscriber to this channel, guess what? Any of these legendary videos that you see me put out, just go ahead and hit me up in the comments, say what weapon that you're looking for, and then hit me up on PSN at Carpool Music, and I will hook you up with any of one of these legendaries in your email, just like that. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to this channel, hello and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, but if you really want to help out this channel in a video and help this community grow, it really does help. You can do so by liking a video if you indeed like this video and leaving a comment down below. I upload daily videos and I answer all of your questions as well. So if you have any of them from any game, just go ahead and hit me up and I'll get to you back as soon as possible. I hope you and your family is having a wonderful day and I hope you are having a great day on the sticks and as always i'll be seeing y'all in the next one later